A Yearbook 2013. There are seven Arabic newspapers and eight English language newspapers as well as a Tagalog newspaper produced and published in the UAE. Social media. New media, such as Facebook, Twitter, YouTube and Instagram are used widely in the UAE by the government entities and by the public as well. 286. The UAE government avails official social media accounts to communicate with public and hear their needs. 286. Economy. Burj Khalifa is the tallest human-made structure in the world. The UAE has developed from a juxtaposition of Bedouin tribes to one of the world's most wealthy states in only about 50 years. It is the sixth wealthiest country in the Middle East after Iran, Saudi Arabia, Israel, Turkey and Egypt. Economic growth has been impressive and steady throughout the history of this young confederation of emirates with brief periods of recessions only, for example in the global financial and economic crisis years 2008-09, and a couple of more mixed years starting in 2015 and persisting until 2019. Between 2000 and 2018, average real gross domestic product, GDP, growth was at close to 4%. 287, it is the second largest economy in the GCC, after Saudi Arabia, 288, with a nominal gross domestic product, GDP, of US dollar 414.2 billion, and a real GDP of 392.8 billion constant 2010 US dollars in 2018. 287. Since its independence in 1971, the UAE's economy has grown by nearly 231 times to 1.45 trillion AD in 2013. The non-oil trade has grown to 1.2 trillion AD, a growth by around 28 times from 1981 to 2012. 288 supported by the world's seventh-largest oil reserves and aided by prudent investments coupled with a resolute commitment to economic liberalism and strong governmental oversight. The UAE has witnessed its real GDP increase by more than three times over the past four decades. Presently, the UAE is among the wealthiest countries globally, with GDP per capita nearly 80% higher than the OECD average. 287, as impressive as economic growth has been in the UAE, the total population has increased from just around 550,000 in 1975 to close to 10 million in 2018. This growth is mainly due to the influx of foreign workers into the country, making the national population a minority. The UAE features a unique labor market system in which residence in the UAE is conditional on stringent visa rules. This system is a major advantage in terms of macroeconomic stability, as labor supply adjusts quickly to demand throughout economic business cycles. This allows the government to keep unemployment in the country on a very low level of less than 3%, and it also gives the government more leeway in terms of macroeconomic policies where other governments often need to make trade-offs between fighting unemployment and fighting inflation. 287. Between 2014 and 2018, the accommodation and food, education, information and communication, arts and recreation, and real estate sectors overperformed in terms of growth, whereas the construction, logistics, professional services, public, and oil and gas sectors underperformed. 287. Business and Finance The UAE offers businesses a strong enabling environment, stable political and macroeconomic conditions, a future-oriented government good general infrastructure and ICT infrastructure. Moreover, the country has made continuous and convincing improvements to its regulatory environment, 287, and is ranked as 26th best nation in the world for doing business by the Doing Business 2017 report published by the World Bank Group. 
289. The UAE are in the top ranks of several other global indices, such as the World Economic Forums, WEF, Global Competitiveness Index, GCI, the World Happiness Report, WEF, and 31st. Abu Dhabi Skyline in the Global Innovation Index in 2022. 290, 291. The Economist Intelligence Unit, EIU, for example, assigns the UAE rank 2 regionally in terms of business environment and 22 worldwide. From the 2018 Arab Youth Survey, the UAE emerges as the top Arab country in areas such as living safety and security, economic opportunities, and starting abusiveness, and as an example for other states to emulate. 287. The weaker points remain the level of education across the UAE population, limitations in the financial and labor markets, barriers to trade and some regulations that hinder business dynamism. The major challenge for the country though, remains translating investments and strong enabling conditions into knowledge, innovation and creativity at puts. 287, a proportional representation of United Arab Emirates exports. 2019 UAE law does not allow trade unions to exist. 292, the right to collective bargaining and the right to strike are not recognized and the Ministry of Labor has the power to force workers to go back to work. Migrant workers will participate in a strike can have their work permits cancelled and be deported. 292. Consequently, there are very few anti-discrimination laws in relation to labor issues, with Emiratis and other GCC Arabs getting preference in public sector jobs despite lesser credentials than competitors and lower motivation. In fact, just over 80% of Emirati workers hold government posts, with many of the rest taking part in state-owned enterprises such as Emirates Airlines and Dubai Properties. 293. The UAE's monetary policy stresses stability and predictability, as the central bank of the UAE, KPU, keeps a peg toth US dollar, USD, and moves interest rates close to the federal funds rate. This policy makes sense in the current situation of global and regional economic and geopolitical uncertainty. Also considering the fact that exports have become the main driver of the UAE's economic growth, the contribution of international trade to GDP grew from 31% in 2017 to 33.5% in 2018, outpacing overall GDP growth for the period and the fact that the AED is currently undervalued, a departure from this policy and particular life peg would negatively affect this important part of the UAE economy in the short term. In the mid to long term, however, the peg will become less important as the UAE transitions to a knowledge-based economy and becomes yet more independent from the oil and gas sector, oil is currently still being traded not in AED, but in USD. On the contrary, it will become more and more important for the government to have monetary policy at its free disposal to target inflation shun too heavy reliance on taxes, and avoid situations where decisions on exchange rates and interest rates contradict fiscal policy measures as has been the case in recent years, where monetary policy has limited fiscal policy effects on economic expansion. 287. According to Fitch Ratings the decline in property sector follows risks of progressively worsening the quality of assets in possession with UAE banks, leading the economy to rougher times ahead. Even though as compared to retail and property, UAE banks fared well. The higher US interest rates followed since 2016 which the UAE currency complies to have boosted profitability. However, the likelihood of plunging interest rates and increasing provisioning costs on bad loans point to difficult times ahead for the economy. 294. Dubai Marina Skyline Since 2015, 
economic growth has been more mixed due to a number of factors impacting both demand and supply. In 2017 and 2018 growth has been positive but on a low level of 0.8 and 1.4%, respectively. To support the economy the government is currently following an expansionary fiscal policy. However, loans point to difficult times ahead for the Dubai Marina Beach, the UAE has the most advanced and developed infrastructure. Abu Dhabi skylining the Global Innovation Index in 2022. 290, 291. The Economist Intelligence Unit, EIU. For example, assigns the UAE rank to regionally in terms of business environment and 22 worldwide. From the 2018 Arab Youth Survey the UAE emerges as the top Arab country in areas such as living, safety and security, economic opportunities, and starting a business, and as an example for other states to emulate. 287. The weaker points remain the level of education across the UAE population, limitations in the financial and labor markets, barriers to trade and some regulations that hinder business dynamism. The major challenge for the country though, remains translating investments and strong enabling conditions into knowledge, innovation and creativity at puts. 287 a proportional representation of United Arab Emirates exports. 2019 UAE law does not allow trade unions to exist. 292. The right to collective bargaining and the right to strike are not recognized, and the Ministry of Labor has the power to force workers to go back to work. Migrant workers will participate in a strike can have their work permits cancelled and be deported. 292. Consequently, there are very few anti-discrimination laws in relation to labor issues, with Emiratis and other GCC Arabs getting preference in public sector jobs despite lesser credentials than competitors and lower motivation. In fact, just over 80% of Emirati workers hold government posts with many of the rest taking part in state-owned enterprises such as Emirates Airlines and Dubai Properties. 293. The UAE's monetary policy stresses stability and predictability, as the central bank of the UAE, KPW, keeps a peg toth US dollar, USD, and moves interest rates close to the federal funds rate. This policy makes sense in the current situation of global and regional economic and geopolitical uncertainty. Also considering the fact that exports have become the main driver of the UAE's economic growth, the contribution of international trade to GDP grew from 31% in 2017 to 33.5% in 2018, outpacing overall GDP growth for the period and the fact that the AED is currently undervalued, a departure from this policy and particular live peg would negatively affect this important part of the UAE economy in the short term. In the mid to long term, however, the peg will become less important as the UAE transitions to a knowledge-based economy and becomes yet more independent from the oil and gas sector. Oil is currently still being traded not in AED, but in USD. On the contrary, it will become more and more important for the government to have monetary policy at its free disposal to target inflation shun too heavy reliance on taxes, and avoid situations where decisions on exchange rates and interest rates contradict fiscal policy measures as has been the case in recent years, where monetary policy has limited fiscal policy effects on economic expansion. 287. According to Fitch ratings, the decline in property sector follows risks of progressively worsening the quality of assets in possession with UAE banks, leading the economy to rougher times ahead. Even though as compared to retail and property, 
UAE banks fared well. The higher U.S. interest rates followed since 2016 which the UAE currency complies to have boosted profitability. However, the likelihood of plunging interest rates and increasing provisioning costs on bad loans point to difficult times ahead for the economy. 294. Dubai Marina Skyline Since 2015, economic growth has been more mixed due to a number of factors impacting both demand and supply. In 2017 and 2018 growth has 